On last week's episode of Hunt Primitive, you saw we had some close calls on some feral hogs with the Atlatl. We hate to leave you hanging on that one, so we're back at it again today to see if we can't find a hog to spear. This is Hunt Primitive, where we build, hunt, and butcher with Stone Age primitive hunting tools. I am blessed to have been able to build a life and a business doing what I love. I build primitive hunting gear for people all over the world. Then I get to use these same products in real world hunts for both big and small game to feed my family. I share these experiences through my videos and books to help others accomplish their own building and hunting goals. Follow along as we show you the stories of why I hunt primitive. All right, well, I got that one, as you can see, but ended up coming through the grass, so I whipped her pretty hard, but I don't know if I just hit high or if it ducked a little. It doesn't matter, but I hit it right in the spine. So I ran up, but then I usually reach for that stone knife that's on my quiver and finish them off. I didn't have it, so I pulled another four shaft out to put down through her lungs. So that worked out pretty good. Well, made a high hit on this one coming through that 
tall grass and these dog fennels, but uh, it's like knew that shot was kind of then or I may not get another opportunity. But did it with the cane spears and pretty good size, uh, almost kind of like a bowling or archaic notch style point. And then my kind of, it's kind of Woomera ish. It's not exactly a Woomera, but that real dished out, fast to load, easy to throw thrower there. So yeah, pretty happy. I wish I could have hit it a little bit lower, but it dropped right on the spot. So it's hard to argue with that. And then I usually, I, I started reaching for it, that stone knife that I usually carry on my quiver when I'm bow hunting to jump on and finish them off. I didn't have it. So I pulled a, pulled one of my four shafts out and then just used that to finish it off. So I guess no need to uh, worry about carrying a knife if I've got extra of those, but yeah, that worked out. Didn't have to chase it down or blood trail it or anything. Just get on it real quick and finish it off and got us a nice atlatl hog kill. And I'm sure here later on, once I dig the point out, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. But it definitely hit the spine. successful atlatl hunt uh, really nice to be able to get out and chase hogs again with the atlatl i haven't really done it for quite a while but it just seemed like the like the right thing that i just wanted to do so after a good hard week of work able to sneak out and just dedicate to chasing them hogs around and we had had some great opportunities that were close and then we had one that that came together so thank you guys for following along Hope to see you again on the next adventure.